Welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. I just closed the wrong tab, so now I can't see what I was doing. I took, took my notes off. Okay, so we figured out where our culprit is, and that's bad. Or good, because we don't know where he is, but bad that he actually exists. And, well, we're not going to go do that right away. Today, we're going to go, well, to the daycare. Cut my sound up a little bit loud. I can't hear myself. <laughs> All right, so we helped out at the daycare center. Ninja. Apparently the girl doesn't want to play ninja. I don't blame her. But he's gonna run around and play ninja anyway. Okay. Alright, so the children are tugging at us, and our understanding has increased. Awesome. Alright, so Eerie's here. Yuta? <laughs> oh, so she's offering to take the kid out to dinner. That's kind of nice. Though, I don't know. Oh, he's not hungry. Okay. But he's gonna go play with the other kids. Okay, you go do that. <sighs> yeah, I guess you showed up a little too early this time. Wait, you were just watching TV? Can't you... Well, these days you can, like, TiVo it or some nonsense. Oh, sad music. Um, you can choose either one of these. I'm gonna choose so you can't love him. Yeah, so I'll take that as a yes. When a woman starts breastfeeding, her maternal instincts awaken, huh? I don't think that's right, because I know whip girls, children, anyone that sees a child and goes crazy. Okay, you need to stop believing what you see on TV. Yeah, you're kind of- you guys are still kind of acquaintances, you're not friends yet. Though, I don't think your maternal instinct is shut away in that regard. Be more empathetic. Is that the word I'm looking for? I think that's the word I'm looking for. I don't believe in fate, so the fact that you believe that you're going to be distant forever is probably a wrong statement. Have I heard what? I don't- I don't like that. That statement sucks. I, uh, I don't believe that. I don't believe I'm a robot, and I don't believe, uh, I don't believe in a creator, so that kind of negates what you're talking about. See, I don't like that. I don't like, I, you know, cause and effect, that makes sense, but, you know, hey, something happened, and, you know, it happened for a reason, or it happened because it happened, and there's nothing you can do to do anything else. Doesn't make it does not make me feel better. <laughs> it just does not does not. Well, even though it's not a good idea and it's a boring idea, you need to say you're right. <laughs> Cause, you know, you're not trying to prove a point or anything like that. You're trying to uh, be you know, sympathetic, I guess. Oh, so more T V stuff, huh? All because of TV, huh? <sighs> TV and the internet. Really? It is much more convenient. Especially when you live in the freaking, you know, nowheres. Boonies. 
Well, so Eerie wants to go back to the city. Oh, I don't blame her. Uh, you want to choose just let it go. <laughs> yeah, you do, and I really don't want to hear it. Why would I tell the other mothers? Uh, you can say either one of these, so I say I'll say I won't. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. You have some issues. Maybe you should go figure out uh, figure out how to open up to your son. Deep loneliness, huh? Yeah, the other mothers are judgmental against her, so I can understand that being a problem. All right. So we reached level four. What, we've been standing here talking for, what, five minutes? I like my apron on in this. It's very manly. Very Bye masculine. Now. Okay. Abruptly and awkwardly. What was so abrupt or awkward about that? And we got 600 yen. Awesome! Okay, so I'm home, and ooh, what do we get? Oh, we got a snuff soul. Well, that's not very exciting. But we can work at the hospital, but first, let's go ahead and harvest some veggies. So this time, we're gonna go ahead and plant those eggplant thingies. We're going past, we got the cabbages. And we're gonna plant the eggplant seedlings. I'll eventually wanna have a few of these in my inventory at some point in time. I don't want to worry worried about those quite yet. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go work at the hospital this evening. Or I can hang out with Yumi apparently, but no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go to the hospital, we're gonna spend time there. We are, our relationship won't deepen quite yet. It's okay. I'm just gonna pass through this just qu pretty quickly. We already know what happens. Someone's watching me. I'm creeped out. My courage increased. And she comes in here. And is creepy as hell as usual. So we're gonna talk. I guess. Alright. And we earned 5,000 yen. Awesome. Alright. Uh, yeah, we're not going to the TV world yet. Alright, so we're gonna go outside, and... yes. We actually have a quest available for us, but we can't get it today because there's no school. So, don't worry about it. Alright, what kind of seedlings do you have? Um, eh, we have plenty of those. Uh, let's go into town. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the shopping district and do uh, temperance again. So let's go ahead and... go! Alright, so we're at the daycare center. What's up? And Yuta wants to wrestle, apparently. Once again. Alright, so understanding has increased. Oh, here's Eerie again. He doesn't look like he wants to go home. Oh, uh, I know you don't want to go home. and But I need to go home too, actually. I like how he calls me Mr. Huh? Why would it bother me for him to play with me? No! Ah! Eerie, come back! What's up, Utah? Turned silent, huh? Are we gonna talk to him? Alright, so we're gonna walk her son home since apparently she's that bad at this. Alright, at the, at the floodplain. Okay. There she is. <laughs> Over there! Yeah, at the gazebo. 
Um, she, I don't think she's really mad at you, per se. Uh, you can say anything you want. Don't just tell him to apologize. She doesn't hate you. Ah, so he actually does understand, to some degree, what's going on. Um, you can say anything you want. I'm just gonna say, she doesn't hate you. Yeah, we, we walked him home because it's bad to leave children, you know, unaccompanied. <laughs> you don't look like you're joking. Well, that's because he's getting attention. I think that's the, the key word here, is attention. Children need attention from adults. I'm not even an adult, but I'm close to probably the closest thing he has right now. <laughs> well, that's because when you go home, all you guys probably do is watch TV. I mean, that's not very fun. Strangely enough, he probably won't, but he'll probably be pissed at his father at some point in time. How long is he supposed to be wherever the hell he is, anyway? I think- didn't he just say that he felt sorry for her? Yeah, I was about to say, they are- they're- they're pitying each other. Well, now that we have some information, maybe we can bring them closer together. Yeah, I'm glad too. Maybe he'll- or I'm sorry, maybe you'll learn to pay attention to him and maybe he'll learn that you're not a bad person. Now my next question is why are your eyebrows backwards? Like, should they be flipped in so that the bigger end is in the inside and the smaller end is on the outside? I think that's kind of weird. Oh, so he enjoys spending time with me. My collar- is my collar popped there? You should probably try and talk to your son. <laughs> Why don't you take care of him? Seriously, come on game. Alright, so our tent, the temperance is now at, what are we at, five? I think I've said this before that this is my least favorite social link. It's still my you least favorite social link. Home. Yeah, I have to go home too. They awkwardly went home together. And yeah, I need to go home because I have things to do. Like sleep. Actually, what we're gonna do instead, no sleeping. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Hey Nanako. So we're gonna go up to our room. And if you remember correctly, we got that hermit quest to work on those models, so we're gonna make a model. Wow, look at all those green pieces. What am I making? Alright, so there's complex pieces apparently. Look, there's paint. Is that. What are those cans of? Alright, so our diligence has increased. And we almost screwed up. Way to go, me. Or way to go, you? Alright, so we're not done yet, but we'll work on it later. No big deal. Alright, so today is July 31st. It's the last day of July. Yeah, yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, first things first, let's buy from the shopping program. Come on, where's the TV? There it is. So let's watch the shopping program. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you have a... I don't know what that is. What else do we have? Smart Bomb and the Supersonic. Um, let's get the uh, accessories, because like, I don't remember what the accessory is off the top of my head. Okay. So we went ahead and bought that, and everything sold out. Alright. Let me scroll back up to my notes here. Alright, well, let's go outside. We're heading off. Yeah, we're heading out. And we're gonna hope. Oh, let's see if she's got. What does she have this time? Barrier corn and cabbage seedlings. 
Let's get the cabbage. I don't want the berry corn. Thanks, though. Alright, so let's go to town. We're gonna go to the riverbank. If you remember correctly, that's where the old woman is. Death. Yeah, death is down there. You hear the uh, cicadas in the background? I chased those birds off. Oh, I can't walk up there. Alright, let's hang out with Hasano. Surprised about what? Alright, so our relationships can become closer, so we're going to spend yes. the day with her. Alright, so she wants to talk to us. Okay, so she's she's back to where she was. So let's go ahead and uh, talk with her. Frightened you. But he's dead. You told us that he's dead. What kind of memories? Uh, you can say either one of these. I'm going to say of what? <laughs> Wrinkled old lady, huh? Traveling company of actors, huh? Oh, so her husband was a child actor. Okay, well that's kind of interesting. Oh, so she fell in love with him from a very, very, very young age. That is a sweet story. <laughs> oh, so he worked in the fields, apparently. You're not happy anymore? Uh, you want to say, I'm jealous. I hope that happens one day. Oh. That's a, actually a very interesting quote. Hmm. I wonder what she means by that. Like, I, I kind of understand, but I kind of don't, actually. Oh, so she misses her husband. What do you mean? Oh, alright, so... She thinks that she's going to hell, apparently. Um... You can say either one of these. I'm gonna say don't torture yourself. Thank you. So obviously she feels guilty, or so she did something that uh, she doesn't think was a good thing. And she thinks her husband was a good man, and she's obviously a bad woman. That's actually really common. Yeah, it does get cold by rivers. But I've, I've talked to other older ladies that kind of feel the same way, like they, they feel bad for things that they've done in the past, and they can't, like, repent or whatever. It's kind of weird. I've never talked to an older man about that. Of course, I don't know too many older guys, except for my grandparents. And I only have one of those left, so, you know. All right, so death three. Welcome back. Hey, Nanako. Uh, let's, we're gonna go back up to our room and work on the model again. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna make a model. I'm gonna go through my notes a little bit here to get to the next day. All right. Our diligence has increased. Awesome. Oh, whoops! I almost messed up again by. Putting the glue on too early. Alright, so we're not done yet. We still have, I think, two more times. Uh, 
Alright, so it's raining a little bit. And yeah, the fog's not around yet. So we're not gonna do... So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna save before I do anything else, just in case I screw up or... I don't know. I don't know what else could happen, but there's a large number of things, I'm sure. And we're gonna go ahead and go outside today. Yeah. Um, is she here today? I don't know, see what vegetables she has today. Uh, I'm definitely gonna buy the eggplants. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, I'm not gonna buy the tomato seedlings today. Alright, so we're gonna go into town, and I'm gonna head to the shopping district, first of all. So what I wanna do is I want to purchase um, some new equipment, and then I want to let me make sure that I have enough Looks like I have a few... I'm not too worried about healing items, in all honesty. The go-homes are important. I keep forgetting I have vanish balls, so I can use those too. I think I have enough. Do I have... Okay, I have a few items that heal, so I'm not too worried about that. But I'm going to run in here, and I'm going to buy some items, and then when I come out, I'll show you what I have equipped. Alright, welcome back. So, I didn't buy any new uh, weapons, but I did buy some new armor, as you can see here, the Daomaru I purchased for each of the guys. Uh, so, the will Kanji, Teddy, uh, Yu, and Yosuke. Uh, I left Chie on the Steel Paneer and the and Yukiko on the Armada Bustier. Uh, that should be fine. Um, all the weapons seem perfectly fine. Teddy doesn't have anything new, though his, uh, the spiky punch is pretty low attack, but that's okay. Um, for the accessories for him, I'm gonna give him the, uh, other Vigor Fob that we have. Uh, I may later give him the Blessed Hands, because he's, uh, kind of a, kind of a healing, kind of a mix of a healing and, uh, attack power kind of person. Unlike Yukiko, but his... He's got different... Let's see here, let me... Oh no, go to status. Whereas Yukiko does fire, uh, his guy is uh, more of an ice person, so that could be possibly a problem uh, when you bring Teddy in if, you're, if you need a fire person. So bringing Chie and Teddy may not be a good thing. Uh, Rise, of course, she won't be coming into battle with us. She'll be... Uh, taking over Teddy's place. And yeah, she learned some new stuff, so she'll be a little bit more powerful uh, the further she gets. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about her later. I do really like her, her persona, though. I think it looks really cool. Uh, with that, I think persona-wise, uh, we're pretty much okay to go. Um, we'll stick with that for now. So, what we're going to do, now that I've gone ahead and purchased all that, I'm going to go ahead and save again, just to make sure that I've got everything ready to go. And we're going to go ahead and head to Juness. Is there nothing else I want to do? I don't think so. Alright, let's go to Juness, and we're going to end it, go ahead and enter the TV world. This should be everyone, right? Now it looks like everyone's here, including the fox. Alright, we're gonna enter the TV. Yeah, let's go! It's been a while since we've been here. Alright, so here's the picture of that guy. That's the him, all right. It's definitely the guy on the midnight channel. It's settled then. He is the killer. How do we know he he's like? Now? How do we truly know that he's the killer, this except for what he said? Shop before. Really? Was he spying on me? Oh my god! I really was being targeted. You sure he's Damn not just it. a creeper? Freaking punk! Hey, I've seen him before too. Hmm. Oh, now I remember. Yukiko, it's that one guy. What one guy? That one guy. Back in April, remember? He suddenly came and started hitting on you? Oh, yeah. I think I mentioned oh, that before. Him. The dude who got served by Yukiko in front of the school. She doesn't Man, remember this at all, does she? How'd you remember something like that? Well, that was the first time he talked to her, but I remember he was always following her around. Was he? 
Um, sorry, who are we talking about? Oh, the poor dude Zika. who came right up to you at the school gates and called you Yuki? Oh. Uh, really? Oh, Wait, oblivious. Did he kidnap Yukiko to get back at her for rejecting him? What about Kanji then? Um, I didn't really reject him. No, you did. He came up to me while I was busy working and asked, Don't the biker gangs bother you? Just going on and on about how biker gangs can't do anything unless they're in a pack and stuff. He oh. seemed to be the type who just keeps talking whether you like it or not, if that makes sense. I usually treat those people politely so they don't get offended, but I was so tired that I kind of ignored him. Was that why I was kidnapped? But then why was Kanji kidnapped? Huh? Wait, I I'm not a biker. Ugh, that damn special report. So that's why I got dragged into this. You know, I heard he's been saying stuff about that announcer's affair, too. Okay, so maybe Lots he does have a how women who cheat on their husbands should be executed. Oh, that's weird. Sounds like it's all coming together. Well, it's time for a showdown. So this is the final, final, final dungeon? Can you tell where this Mitsuo guy's at? Okay. I'll give it a try. Just a sec. I think that's so cool. Yeah, I found him. He's that way. All right, follow that finger. All right, let's go. And spring Teddy so with us. Close to the killer. We can't lose him now. Don't worry, we won't lose him. What is this? What is this? Where are Where are we? What is this? Some kind of game? Kind of looks like it. Well, he did taunt us, saying try and catch me. I guess he thinks of all this as a game. Oh, this pisses me off! I hereby sentence him to a hundred kicks to the face! Calm down, Chie. Let's go! Alright, um... <laughs> I'm gonna say, man, this is old school. Gotta admit, all guys love games. That's not entirely true. And all girls love Teddy. Calm down, Teddy. Alright, so we found him. Yep, so we just have to catch him. Alright, let's do this. We can do it, guys. The final showdown with the final boss. And here I thought it was going to be longer. Uh, let's see. So this is the Void Quest Dungeon, which I absolutely possibly love. I'm going to bring... Hang on a second here. I'm going to bring... Oh, Chie is actually doing quite well. Rise is behind. Kanji, Teddy, and Yosuke are behind. Well, guess who's coming with me then? Uh, you. You're coming with me. Teddy's coming with me. And Kanji's coming with me. But we are definitely not doing that today. Nope. No, we're not. So if you remember correctly, let's look at our quests here real quick. We have all of these quests we haven't completed. Uh, we do have a couple things, not feed the cat. So we need to acquire a Charmed Veil. And we have this Hard Boots one and the Carbon Coffee quest as well. I think that's it. So there's three quests that we actually want to complete. What we want to do first though is if we... Um, so okay, we did Yukiko's Castle. She doesn't have one. We go to Kanji. Oh my gosh. We're gonna go to the bathhouse. Did we complete this one? Hang on, we'll find out. Try to remember. Oh, we did. Okay. Never mind. Let's go ahead and escape then. I lied. We're not going here. We're actually gonna go to. I thought this is the one we had finished. Back to the entrance. And actually, so rather than going there, I think it's actually... No, we're actually gonna go to the club. Come on, let's go. Pack it up. This is where we're gonna be going. We need to, if we head in... There we go. Yep, so right now there is a new shadow on the highest floor. And it's not related to the murders, it is just kind of moved in because that's what shadows do. 
So we're gonna go get rid of it. We're not gonna do that today, but I thought I'd let you know what we're gonna be doing next time. First of all, I love Teddy. Hang on, let's see if I can get Teddy to stop moving. Yeah, that's, that's, that's him. So we're gonna go ahead and return to the entrance and head back. And uh, I'll go ahead and save out here. So next time, we're going to be... Uh, well, let's go ahead and save here. We're going to be going into, or back into the club, and we're going to be completing those three quests. Um, and we'll talk more about that next time. And then, after that, we will go stop the culprit. And hopefully, well, we'll play his game. So, alright. Have a good day. See you next time.